Hi guys, my name is Malibu. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Louis Vuitton Congo in PM. If you like content like this, subscribe and check out my channel. Now let's get right into the video. backstory about the Louis Vuitton Congo NPM is that I originally got the Louis Vuitton Reporter in size PM. Now I knew of the Congo bag from Louis Vuitton and I couldn't find any on the market that I liked the condition of. So I ordered this Reporter PM and the day that it got to my house, I a Congo got listed on a pre-loved website. Now I was quite bummed about this because I did do a lot of research because this was going to be like the second Louis Vuitton bag that I got and I didn't know what to do but I figured you know I got the reporter I should stick with the reporter because that is what I had budgeted a week later I looked at the website and it I saw that it sold for a much lower price than it was listed for and my mom knew that I was kind of wondering what I should do if I should return the reporter and get the Congo or if she had any suggestions and I told her about it and she said I got it and I was like what do you mean you got it and she said I bought it for you and I was very confused as how or when she even did this um but of course on the terms that I would pay it off and I eventually paid off half and then the other half she gave it to me for my birthday best stories for a bag in my collection which is why this is one of the favorite bag in my collection and it will always stay in my collection until i have children and hand my bags down to them um but it will always be number one in my closet so without further ado i have had this bag for about four years if there is dog hair i do apologize it's just something that happens when you own animals <laughs> Here is the Louis Vuitton Congo in size PM. Now this is monogram canvas. It is not treated vachetta leather and it comes with this adorable like netting pocket in the front. This is definitely um, a rare bag that I have never seen out in public. Um, it does come in a size GM, which I have honestly thought about getting, but I will probably wait until I have children because I've always thought about using it for a diaper bag. It might be a little outrageous to use for a diaper bag, but I thought it would be kind of cute. It is so gorgeous. It has patinaed over time. When I originally got it, it was basically brand new. Now, I have never seen a Congo in this condition, even though it's four years later, it has lasted for such a long time. It hasn't patinaed too much, even in Arizona weather. The sun did never tanned it at horribly at all. Now, the drop of the strap goes to 14 inches. It gets really long if you like to have your bag near your hips, which is what I used to do. But I have noticed that if in the back, I don't know if you can see. I didn't notice until it was too late and I did end up getting some denim transfer when I had it at a longer strap length. I would definitely recommend either just wearing regular trousers with this if you have it lower. I now carry it more towards my waist to make sure it's away from any jean denim transfer. The strap is amazing. It's not detachable, which is kind of sucky. 10 and a half inches long, two and a half inches wide, eight and a half inches tall. Now the details on this are amazing. It is pretty sure that it originally released in 2006, which I was born in 2005. So it's almost around 18 years old. It has two back buttons, which you will see why on the inside. The fabric strap is really cool. Don't mind the dog hair. We all have dogs, so. And it has also another little button. My favorite part about this is the versatility. It does really carry a lot. Um, even if you don't carry that many things, it will carry all of your essentials which this is my everyday bag for a few years since my collection has only started growing recently. Um, it was one of my first permanent Louis Vuitton bags. I do switch my bags out often and other bags that I don't use, I just sell and get ones that I will use. A buckle closure and this netting is actually a pocket. 
It does have different adjustments, so if you do have more stuff, you can easily close it still. So opening it, it says Louis Vuitton made in France, and here is that pocket I was talking about. I hardly use the front pocket just because I don't want anything to fall out, but I know other people would probably use it a lot more than I do. Now this has a button closure that closes this and this other pocket here, which I also don't even use because I'm able to easily fit everything into the main compartment. Now the inside of the main compartment is a snap-on waterproof liner, which would make this bag very like first time bag user friendly, but you know, there is the untreated Vachetta leather on the outside, which if you want a more throw around bag, this might not be the bag for you, but the inside is great. If you have makeup products or pens and you don't want it to leak anywhere, this will literally save the whole entire inside of the bag. That is why that these two brass buttons are on the back because this can fully come out and you can actually clean it. Here is the liner. It has Louis Vuitton engraved on the buttons, like all Louis Vuitton items. And here is the waterproof lining. Now this bag didn't come with hardly any perfume scent, which if you guys have seen any other of my videos, you know I can't handle strong perfumes because it gives me a migraine. I've relisted many a bag with perfumes or like musty moldy hotel smells. I don't even know how those get in the bags. They did smell just a tiny hint of perfume. So I took the liner out and washed it and it was basically gone. Here is the inside of the bag without the liner. I have seen some on the pre-loved market without the liner, which I thought kind of sucked and defeated the whole purpose of the design of this bag. If you guys are looking for a bag like this, the Congo, um, sometimes they pop up on the pre-loved market, but it's very hard to find one in amazing condition inside and out. And I just got extremely lucky. If you guys do hear something in the background, that is my dog. Her name is Mabel and she is a Greyhound. So just try to ignore that. I'm so thankful to my mom, which you can see my mom on our new channel, Like Mother, Like Daughter, with a question mark. Here is the liner back in the bag. I'm going to show you guys what I can fit in the Congo PM. So I did start recently vlogging with my mom. So we have this tripod that we bring with us into stores and in the car. And it is able to fit at the bottom of this very easily. We also do have our mic pack, which I am currently wearing the mic, but if I do need it out, I can also fit this in here. So a tripod and a mic pack. I also have my New York City Louis Vuitton pencil pouch that just fits nicely in here. As you can see, things do get stacked on top of each other. If you don't like that, then you can totally rearrange it or just put different things in there. I'm just showing you guys what I bring on a daily basis. Now I also have my wallet, which matches perfectly with my pencil pouch. And I'm gonna try to fit this in here. We'll see how it does. That is a tripod, mic pack, pencil pouch, a wallet, and a mini pochette. It all fits in here very nicely. It's not overstuffed or anything. And I'm gonna try to close it. Since it has multiple holes for the buckle closure. I put it on the second one and it fits everything just fine. I could have put it on the third one. It's not too stuffed to need it and it actually looks great. Since the strap is wide, it's not going to dig into your shoulder. It's not going to be too heavy or hurt you in any way. So this can fit a lot. It can also fit water if you tend to carry that with you all the time. I know I can fit many a snack in here because I always take this with me whenever I am on a road trip or just a long vacation. This fits all of my essentials and vlogging equipment. So this is the Louis Vuitton Congo PM 
full review and I absolutely love this bag. If you guys love it too, make sure to let me know. Um, if you guys have any questions about this bag, comment them down below and I will try to answer it the best I can. Once again, this is my most favorite bag in my collection. I love it so much and you will never find me selling this ever. You will never find this bag out of my collection. I will never sell this bag. This bag will always be with me until death do us part. Then it will be passed down to my family. So that's how much I will stand behind this bag because it is just an amazing investment and I know that if the leather ever gets to such bad condition that it needs to be replaced, I can take it to Louis and it will basically be brand new. In the description down below, I will try to find a bag like this linked that is available so you guys can go check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like content like this, don't be shy and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. As always, if you have any ideas, questions, or suggestions, comment them down below. Bye.